Thanks, Dave. Yeah, thanks for doing this. A question about the point guards. You being, I think it's really fascinating that you're the oldest player on the team. Devin is the youngest player on the team. I'm curious, uh -huh. both ways, what have you been able to teach the young kid and vice versa, what has the young kid been able to teach you during this process? Um, just to attack practice every day with a competitive spirit. Um, you know, just, just being able to teach them, you know, the fact that uh, you have to have um, – a great relationship on the court and that's by him competing against me every day and that's by me you know competing against him every day and that's just you know us guys wanting uh better for each other so i mean it's been fun and he's he's been doing really well so far all right kyle tucker you got next and maggie davis we'll go to you David, I think regardless of whether Keon's out there, but I, I wonder even more now that we know Cal said Keon may not be out there for this first week, how much of a sense of responsibility do you feel to, to show some of that leadership, poise, all the things that a young group of guys is going to look to do one of the veterans, even though you haven't been on this particular team? Right. I mean, it's 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 tough to kind of to say, you know, uh, replace responsibility for a guy like Keon. I mean, a, a guy that, you know, was significant to a really good team last year and, you know, uh, a guy that's been very mature for us. And even though he hasn't had his presence with us on the court, uh, he has been doing a lot of things off the court as far as, you know, team meetings. And, you know, so I'm, I'm still, you know, learning the, the type of things from him, uh, although he's younger than me. But, like, he, he's just been here and has a sense of, you know, um, knowing and so it's been fun and it's also been you know I do have to step up in that nature and kind of you know keep guys level-headed and and kind of you know carry that uh culture that, that he brings to this program even though he does, it isn't playing right now all right so we're going to uh maggie davis Hi, Davion. Cal talked a lot about having his hands and feet and head on the panic button right now, heading into the season, especially after the scrimmage you all had yesterday. How do you feel going into the season? Where do you think this team stands right now? Yeah, I mean, uh, right now we, you know, we didn't have our best scrimmage yesterday. Um, hopefully we got, you know, the kinks out and we wrecked the car yesterday just to, to get it back rolling uh, for Wednesday. So, um, I mean, I uh, it's just one of those things where, you know, I, I feel like it, it has to happen. It, it was a humbling experience, and I, I think we're just fine. I think we're tired of playing each other. That was, like, the biggest problem uh, for the flaws yesterday. I think we're just really excited to, you know, get out there and play other people. Um, so, I mean, it's been the same faces for I don't know how many months now. So, I mean, we're right here at the finish line. We're just ready to get going. Thanks. All right, Jerry Tipton, you've got the next question. Then, Bear, I'll circle back to you. Yeah, Davion, I wondered how uh, how you feel uh, about fewer fans being there uh, at the games, how that might affect things. Um, yeah, we, we, we're trying our best. You know, they, they had like a crowd simulation noise at our scrimmage. I mean, times are very different. Um, I personally, and I'm sure my teammates, you know, the caliber players they are, that we like to perform in front of big crowds. So, I mean, fortunately enough, we'll be able to have some people there, some sort of support, but we're definitely going to have to, you know, find energy within ourselves. Um, I know it'll be very different. It'll be, you know, uh, I say it'll be actually pretty tough, you know, coming out, starting. But like I said, we got to find energy within each other, kind of get each other motivated and, you know, realize that we are on TV playing, so there's still our fans around the world watching and just try to, you know, make it work. Bird, coming back to you. Hey, David, I'm curious about one thing, your role kind of as, as a mentor to this group. And we've got freshmen who not only are away from home for the first time in their lives, but they're basically locked down for months, not being able to see anybody. You know, the, I'm worried about the society aspect of it. And how, how are you mentoring those guys through that? Yeah, just by, you know, having people that I talk to that are helping me through the situation. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'm going through it, too, so it's, it's, it's pretty tough. And, you know, just sharing the information that, that I'm talking with my, you know, my previous teammates and my friends across the country, the guys who have, you know, had, you know, a situation where we could go home and see families and how they're coping with not having that, you know, luxury anymore and just sharing that with these guys here that, you know, everyone's facing, you know, what we're going through right now. Uh, we're probably in the gym more than a lot more people across the country, so that's helping us. But 
you know, it's just one of those things that we, we can't escape from. We have to deal with it and we have to, you know, act responsibly until, you know, times are, you know, better for us to, you know, go back to some sort of normalcy again. What's the hardest part about the isolation? Um, I think the isolation part, like just not, you know, being able to, you know, get out and experience it. You know, you got to be very careful with where you're going and, um, you know, a curfew times and just, just trying to be mentally sane of knowing like, okay, it's probably safe for me to go to the gym and door dash food and, you know, go, you know, go get it myself. It's just, you know, just having the responsibility. I think that's the hardest part. John Long, you got next, and then Jerry, we'll circle back to you. Hey, Davion, you look really calm, cool, and collected. Uh, compare this experience with how you first stepped out on the basketball court. Uh, are you going to be nervous? You scared you might shoot an air ball the first time? <laughs> like, what's going through your mind? No, I think um, uh, I'm definitely, you know, very excited. I feel like anxious is a, is a better word. Um, Gosh, I can't even remember my, my first freshman game. Uh, might have airballed. I don't even know. But I think that Cal, Coach Cal prepares us for, like, he puts us in situations. And, uh, I mean, we're playing against guys every day to where, like, you don't you don't really think about failure when you're with Coach Cal. Like, he's, he's putting you in situations where it's okay to fail with him. And I feel like this is the most comfortable I've ever felt, you know, going into a season. And it's actually – um, I know that I've matured and got older through it, uh, why I probably feel a little bit more comfortable. But just the fact that Cal has, you know, prepared us and got us in uh, the mental state of, you know, going out there to play a season. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's really good to, to be in this mindset right now. All right, Jerry, to you, and then Kyle after that. Yeah, Davion, uh, earlier on this call, Coach Cal pointed out that Ole Miss – has uh, uh, suspended their season until in December. And, you know, obviously there's football games called off and so on. How does that play out of your mind when you're seeing, you know, games being called off or things delayed? It seems to be getting worse. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, and that's the tough part right now, especially, you know, going right into the, the tip-off that, you know, you're having these unfortunate things happen. So. Uh, and that's another tough part. Like, you just got to stay focused with your situation. Remember the, you know, the importance of, like, health and wearing a mask and the, the, the importance of social distancing because uh, that could easily, you know, be us if we, you know, have the, the smallest uh, slip up. And um, th this is still important for us guys. And uh, we try not to get too caught into the negative of, you know, what's going on and guys losing, um, you know, a, a few weeks into the season. We're just trying to really focus on us and make sure – you know, we're doing our part, so, you know, we can't be to blame when things like this happen. Is it tougher for the younger guys? You know, there's so many freshmen uh, to deal with than somebody like you who's been around the block. Yeah, I mean, I think it's tough for us all, but it's, it's kind of, you know, uh, different, very different for those guys because, you know, they haven't had the, the normal experience, which I feel terrible for them because, I mean, these are these are really good players and really good guys, and you know everyone deserves opportunity to, you know, showcase their talent in front of big crowds. But I mean, it's it's completely different, and who knows when it'll it'll change. So, all right, guys, got a couple minutes left here with Davion Kyle. We'll go to you. Obviously, there, you know, all the kinks haven't been worked out, and Cal's talked about that. And that maybe it won't look like a cohesive. <laughs> team from from the jump uh, with 10 guys making their Kentucky debut and nobody out there with you this first week who's actually played at Kentucky in those moments when when everything kind of goes haywire um, what do you think will be the thing that this team sort of falls back on you know when you everybody kind of resort results resorts to instinct I guess uh, in, in stressful situations early on what will this team kind of fall back on to try to overcome whatever uh, early day? Efficiencies, yeah. You know, just just our trust. I mean, just you know the principles that Cal's have been teaching us. Like, you know, like one big thing that we have uh, focused on that he's tried to help us with. You know, don't worry about making like being a guy to be the playmaker. You know, rely on your teammates, trust your teammates, and realize that it's so much harder when you feel like you're the guy that has to do everything. You know, realize that you're out there with a bunch of talented guys and. 
you know, if, if you're not on, maybe the next man is. So, you know, just, just figure out that who has the hot hand at the moment, who's, you know, getting things done, whether, whether it's anyone. So, um, hopefully, you know, uh, I, I don't feel like everyone's going to be off. Just kind of just be together and, and trust that, you know, someone can get it done and just rely on the, the great coaching that we've had uh, preparing us for these couple months. All right, guys, we're, uh, we'll let Dan.